Earlier this year, life came to a sudden halt due to the coronavirus. Schools across the country canceled the remainder of the school year, including formal graduation ceremonies and proms. And while students 100 years ago faced a similar time of uncertainty, 2020 brought new challenges with the entire country shutting down. What is it like to miss one of the foremost rites of passage for young adults? Davis Stack speaks with four Shinkatique High School seniors about their experiences and thoughts about the future in a post-COVID world. What do you feel that you missed out the most on by having your senior year cut short? I feel like I missed out on prom and graduation and all that. I mean, I know the school district tried to do everything that they could to help us out with graduation, but mm. totally missed out on prom and all that. Yeah. So. How was the drive-by graduation? The drive-by graduation, it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was different than, I think, any other graduation. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what do you look forward to the most uh, once like everything's open again? I'm looking forward to going to a movie theater. Yeah. And just watching something, anything. Sitting home hasn't been the best. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, what are your plans for the fall? I plan on attending Randolph Macon College in Ashland. Um, how, like, how is that schedule, like, how are things going to be different than what you thought, like, when you applied? So, originally when I applied, I thought we'd just be doing all of our classes together, but now our semester has been divided, so we're taking two classes in the first half of the semester and two classes in the second half. Mm. So I feel like that's kind of throttling the amount of classes I can take. Yeah, all of my classes are online. Really? Just found out. So. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what kinds of clubs or sports uh, were you in this past year? I was involved in High Y, which is kind of like our youth government. Okay. And I was I played football, and that was that was really it for me. I kind of laid low. Do a lot of the guys in your grade play football since the, the class is so small? A majority of the kids in my grade did play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um. What are your thoughts about like entering into the real world in like such like crazy times like the pandemic and um, everything? I'm a little bit on edge about entering in to the real world on this kind of playing field, but I guess you don't control the cards that you're dealt. So definitely. Um, how did you use your time when the balance of the school year was was canceled? Like, what did you spend your time doing? Um, mm. like, right when you found out you weren't going back? Right when I found out, I was in Florida on a little vacation. So when I came back, I took a couple of days to myself and then I was like, all right, I got to work or I'm going to go stir crazy just sitting <laughs> in my house. So I decided I'd work for my uncle for a couple of months. And then after that, bills took me back on. Nice. Um, what is one thing you will never forget about your high school experience? Hmm. Mm, this <laughs> the 2020 school year being cut short uh, do you have any traditions that are unique to uh, Shinkatee High School mm, no not there's nothing really unique mm -hmm. that I know of at least yeah just probably small smaller classes than yeah. a lot of other places mm -hmm. um, Besides the, uh, your senior year, uh, do you think the pandemic has had an impact on anything else in your life? or? Mm. I think it's definitely pushed me to work a lot harder and make sure my finances are good. Right. So I don't have to really struggle or worry about something like this, say it comes back again. What do you feel you missed out most by having your senior year cut short? Well, um... I've been in this school's drama club for four years, 
and this was the year I was finally the student director of the school's drama club and so I got to miss out on our last uh, performance of the year and so my last performance of my high school career as well mm. so that was not very pleasant yeah um, what do you look forward to the most uh, once everything begins opening again hmm that's a tough one to answer because I'm already kind of living my normal life with work and everything. This mm -hmm. is kind of how my last summer went. I guess just being able to go out more and like see movies with friends and things like that. Yeah. Um, what was your graduation like? It, it was something. <laughs> um, they kind of just had us all pull into the high school parking lot. I didn't think there would be anyone on stage except for the principal, but they did have our valedictorian and salutatorian go mm. up on stage and read their speeches, which kind of was a shock to me. But we did get two little parades before and after our graduation, which was which was cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. How was that for you? Did, did you like the? I enjoyed it. I, it kind of was like a nice little like, okay, this is actually happening thing. Yeah. Whereas even though it was still not what we expected it to be, it was still more than what could have happened if things had gotten even worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still not good, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, what are your plans for the fall? Um, I'm going to be attending James Madison University. I leave about a little over a month from now. Um, so like, how is that different? How is your college experience going to be different from what you thought when you were applying? Well, there's definitely going to be a lot more restrictions on things. They haven't released everything that they're going to be changing up. My guess is that there's probably going to be some of my classes moved online. Mm -hmm. I know a couple of my friends have, are having their classes moved 100% online, and even though they're still moving into like their dorms and everything. So I, I was told that they're going to be doing like extra cleaning blocks during the day mm -hmm. in replacing those um, classes that are being moved online. And I'm sure there's probably going to be like less uh, activities and things to attend. Have they, uh, have they talked about going online after Thanksgiving break? I know a lot of schools are thinking about that. No, they've talked about going back to com like completely to normal. Mm -hmm. They want to make everything as normal as it can be with just introducing like social distancing rules, wearing a mask yeah. and um, extra cleaning blocks during the day. But other than that, it's supposed to be back to normal. Um, I think you already answered this pretty much, but what kinds of clubs or sports did you participate in? Um, I was actually involved in quite a lot. Um, I was student director of the school's drama club. I was the yearbook photographer. Um, I was in Scholastic Bowl, the band, so our spring concert was also canceled. Um, I was in beta. I'm trying to remember. I think that's about it for this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's a lot, though. Um, uh, what are your thoughts about entering into like the the real world and like such crazy times? I'm, like, I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely going to be a challenge, but I mean, growing up is already a challenge. So yeah, I, I think of myself as kind of an adaptable person. So I don't think it'll be too difficult, but it's still going to be a challenge with everything going on. How did you use your uh, your your free obvious like free time when uh, the balance of the school year was canceled? Um. I immediately started going back to work. So I had something to do with my time instead of just sitting at home um, because the seniors weren't given any work to do. They just kind of sent us an email and said, congratulations, you're done. You don't get any more schoolwork. Mm -hmm. Whereas other schools were still providing schoolwork to their seniors. So I didn't have a lot of stuff to do like um, mental wise, like challenging myself to grow as a student or anything. So I kind of went back to work. I prepared myself for my AP literature exam, which mm -hmm. did not go very well because everything was crazy, but. Yeah, was that like an online it exam? It wasn't online. I think it was going to be online anyways, but it was not what I had expected it to be. It was different from what we were uh, trained to expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, what's one thing you'll never forget about your high school experience? Um, hmm. getting casted as the lead in the spring play, I think it was last year. That was a very memorable experience for me because I had been doing different shows since I was like 12 or 13 and I had never been casted as a lead, let alone even just a main character. So it was just kind of a big experience for me. It felt like I was finally getting somewhere in life with that. What show did you do? Um, it was some enchanted bookshop show. Oh, cool. Just a minor show. Um, 
Do you have any uh, traditions that are unique to your school specifically? Or? Hmm. I'm not so sure. Because I'm, I don't talk to a lot of people from other schools, so it's kind of hard to know right. what's just for our school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, besides the senior year, <clears throat> uh, has the pandemic affected any other parts of your life? Or? Um, it's definitely affected my work a bit because we're not allowed to open on the inside yet, or even if we are allowed, our bosses are choosing not to. So it's a lot more um, drive-through mm -hmm. practice than I had been prepared for last year and just less interacting with people in general. Right. I mean, we're still crazy busy, but it's all just drive through. So it's kind of more chaotic in a sense. Mm -hmm. Where are you working? I work at Mr. Whippy's. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, that's that's all I have for you right now. But I want to thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having but, me. Yeah, thanks for all, all your help. It's been pretty cool. Um, what do you feel you missed out the most on by having your senior year cut short? Um, probably like spending time with my friends. That was like really disappointing to miss all that mm. and the memories. Uh, what do you look forward to the most once everything's opened again? Honestly, just being able to like sit in a restaurant and not have to worry about being like six feet apart from people mm. and like being able to like communicate and be able to see people like smile at you because you don't really get to see that with masks on. Um, what, what are your plans for the fall? Um, I want to try and go to cosmetology school, but I might take a like skip year mm -hmm. just to kind of like get my money right and stuff. Right. Yeah. It'd probably be like kind of stressful, like having to worry about yeah. all the social distancing kind of stuff. Uh, what was your graduation like? Um, it was weird being in a car for mm -hmm. it because we didn't get to experience the whole like throw your cap off type thing. Yeah. And not being able to like talk to your friends and like see them because we're all in like separate vehicles and stuff. Yeah. Where a lot of people like outside their house like when during the whole parade route. Oh though. yeah. People were like they had air horns and stuff and it was like I don't know, it was just crazy cuz I didn't think that many people would like come outside their house and just watch. Mm. Uh, what kinds of clubs or sports were you in this past year? Um, I mostly did drama club. I didn't really play any sports. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, like what show or what shows or kind of like stuff were you doing? Um, I was mainly like makeup and costumes. I, I wasn't really into acting that much. Oh, but. cool. That's very cool. Um, what are your thoughts about entering into the real world and like all these like crazy times? It's kind of scary. Yeah. Especially like being in school like your entire life and then especially where like we got out three months earlier than I had hoped. It's like really stressful because like now I'm working a full time job and like I have bills to pay and stuff. It's like it's scary. Yeah. And I heard you guys like when you were out like you didn't even do like online stuff like you just mm -mm. were out. They they didn't make us do online school. They gave us our credits if you like were passing the grade. Mm -hmm. That was, I don't know if I liked that too much though. Yeah. Um, how did you use your free time when uh, like that whole balance with like school and everything was, was cut off? Um, mostly with like my family and my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's one thing uh, you will never forget about your high school experience? Just like being in school and seeing the teachers. Mm -hmm. I really liked my teachers. And aren't, weren't you like, isn't it combined like middle, mm -hmm. high school? So you probably saw them a lot. Yeah, I saw everybody. Yeah. Even like the little sixth graders. It was nice seeing them because they did, they were like scared. They didn't know what was going on. Yeah. They probably like look up to you guys too, like since you're like. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in like sixth grade, I thought the seniors were gonna like throw me in a locker, like in movies. <laughs> so I can only imagine what they thought of us. Um, um, 
uh, besides your senior year, has the pandemic has the pandemic had any impact on anything else in your life or just mainly going outside? Yeah, I really enjoy going out and doing things, and we weren't allowed to do that, and it was like it's weird because we took that for granted before. Right. And even now, like having to like worry about like every time you go outside your house, like mm -hmm. mask and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that that's all I have. But um, thank you for coming in today. Um, so, what do you feel you missed out most on by having your senior year cut short? Oof. Um, probably just the time with people, uh, because I mean that's half the time, the only time you get to see people, and especially when everything shut down. I mean, you couldn't go nowhere, couldn't do nothing. So. Probably the people, missing people. Yeah. Um, what do you look forward to the most once everything's opened again? Um, going to school. Uh, I mean, going out to North Carolina for trade school. So I'm going there in a few days, actually. So getting me able to do stuff out there, meet people out there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what was your graduation like? Um, I mean, it was pretty simple, but I was happy with what we got. Uh, a lot of people complained about it and that it wasn't enough. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I was happy with that we at least got something. So. Right. Yeah. Um, so, like, you're talking about you're going to the trade school. Mm -hmm. Is anything different about that? That because yeah, of all this? Yeah. Um, so, since most of their classes are in person, that they're actually going to go halfway online, halfway in person. Okay. So, I mean, trade school, you got to learn hands on. Um, so they're going to all give us laptops and all, and then half of the work's going to be online now. So. Nice. Um, what kinds of clubs or sports were you in this past year? Uh, I did football and soccer, uh, but soccer got cut short. Uh, we didn't even have any games, but um, yeah, that and beta and stuff like that. So Nice. Um, what are your thoughts about like going into the real world and like such like crazy times with the pandemic? Yeah, um, right now it's a little makes me a little nervous uh, because you know going out to trade school, I'm only there for a year and a half to learn, and right after that, I'm going right to work. And if there's no jobs or nothing, nothing if nothing's open, I'm not going to have a chance to get a job. So I'm kind of worried about that, but mm -hmm. hopefully everything goes back quick and I'm able to get a job. Um, how did you like spend your time when uh, the year was like suddenly like canceled? Uh, well, the, the day they canceled school, I went right to work and told them I'm ready to work. And um, so I worked for about a week and a half and then most of the staff got laid off and then they brought us back and got laid off again. Mm -hmm. But now we're back full power. Where are you working right now? Uh, the KOA on the campground. Oh, so cool. it, it was crazy. Uh, what's one thing you will never forget about your high school experience? Uh, whew, um, probably all the friends I made uh, and probably some of the teachers uh, they're just really good people here mm. um, being one of the least funded counties in America makes it pretty hard for the the study and all that we don't have all the resources but we make it work yeah yeah um, do you have any like traditions that you think are unique to like your school or um, nothing that I can really think of. I mean, we have the homecoming and the prom and all that, like everybody else does. Yeah. Um, but nothing really unique that I can think of. I mean, there there might be some things, but I just wasn't part of it, probably. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, besides your senior year, uh, has the pandemic had any impact on anything else like going on with you? Or? Uh, not really. I mean, besides getting laid off from work for a little bit, um, but nothing really. Is still, uh, the school that I'm going to is opening back up, so uh, nothing's really changed too much, but hopefully nothing changes again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.